start with the, the model number 4 in model number 4 we have to study alternator on load then uh, excitation control for a constant terminal voltage then we have to find out the voltage regulation by the data of open circuit short circuit as well as the zero power factor load from uh, different methods of EA finding out the regulation. These are all the indirect method of finding out the, the regulation that is EMF method, MF method and ZPF method. At the end of the this module also we have to study the what is the, the power output of an alternator in terms of generated voltage and the terminal voltage and the, the load angle. Then thereby you are studying the, the nature of the graph of a power angle characteristics for both salient pole and non salient pole type of machine. In which, in the case of uh, the salient pole type of machine, we have got a power is consist of two parts that is uh, reluctance power. What is the importance of that also we are studying in this particular model? Start with the realistic uh, machine model of a synchronous machine. In the realistic machine, we will have a resistance that is the armature resistance and there is a synchronous reactance excess means it is a combination of the leakage reactance and the fictitious reactance of armature reactance which can be lumped in a series between the terminal voltage V and the air gap EMF or generated EMF E that is the generated voltage E and the term terminal voltage V is depending upon these two factors that is the resistance of a armature conductor as well as the lumped uh, synchronous reactance excess therefore the terminal voltage V is depending upon the, the drop across the resistance and the synchronous reactance excess whereas E is the generated voltage then if you are establishing the relation between the V and E that is the V is equal to means it is a terminal voltage it is at the receiving end it is because of E therefore if you are deducting the drop across the resistance and reactance then what we are getting is the value of V therefore V is equal to E minus I R A drop minus I A X S drop these are all vector the difference. Then while doing the calculations you have to make it very simple. Don't get bothered about the, the values. That is we know which type of load we are connecting and that is you can take V as a reference therefore V can be written as V an angle of 0 degree you can take all you have to take four phase vector that is another important point you have to remember in all the three phase circuit first you have to do the calculation per phase basis V is V per phase that is V an angle of 0 degree then you are connecting a load here across the, the terminals if the load is having a different power factor depending upon the nature of the load either it may be UPF or it may be a lagging load it may be a leading load then in general the current I that is the current which is I which is flowing that can be represented as I A is equal to that is it is also power phase value I A an angle of minus 5 if it is lag you can take I A is equal to plus 5 if it is a lead then phi is equal to 0 for unity power factor that is usual pressure is that V is taken as a reference the current I A with power factor either lag or lead then you can arrange the given value J X S is the reactance therefore the your modified equation for E we know that V is equal to E minus I A R A plus J X S now in other words I have got E E is equal to V plus 
I just you have to transfer the value to other side. It is J axis. To calculate the internal voltage or a generated voltage, what you have to do is V an angle of 0 degree plus I the corresponding power factor plus or minus RA plus J axis. Here all these calculations are made per phase value. It is also per phase. This 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 I. This is also per phase. What we are considering the VP. But the mentioned value is line to value, line value is given. Usually in the numerical they are giving the line to line value. You have to convert this line to line value into phase value. Usually the alternator is star connected. Therefore the phase voltage can be converted into sorry line voltage can be converted into phase voltage by dividing the root 3. That is this is a procedure you have to remember while doing the, the calculation. At this point we have got we have got V is equal to E minus IA R A plus J axis, V is here P per phase, E per phase. If you want to convert into a line value, then you have to multiply root 3 to the phase value. Okay. This is a, the model of a, a alternator. Then we know that when if you are loading a three phase alternator by connecting a load, then the current start flowing. That depending upon the, the magnitude of the, the load and the nature of the power factor, the current IA has got a lagging or a leading or a unity power factor. The generated voltage in the alternator is E, whereas the voltage which is available across the load is V. The V has got less than or more than E because of three important factors. One is there is a drop in the IRA drop. There is an armature resistance. It has got inherent resistance because of that there is a drop that is IRA drop you are getting. Then there is a leakage reactor drop that is you are taken care of IAXL. The another factor which is affecting the terminal voltage is that it is the drop in the voltage because of change in the, the magnitude of the armature uh, uh, reaction effect on the main field. If the main field is increasing then the generated voltage is, that is the voltage we are getting is a more if it is the armature the flux which is opposing to the main flux that is a demagnetizing effect in that case you are getting a lesser voltage means the effect of getting the voltage V across the terminal that is governed by three important factor one is IR drop IXL drop and there is an armature reaction this armature reaction variation is taken as equivalent to a one equivalent to a drop of IAXA that is where XA is fictitious reactors okay with this background just you have to draw the, the vector diagram for the alternator when it is connected to different nodes then once again i am showing a model with the breakup of xs into xl and xa here that is ra leakage reactors and it is taken care by armature reaction that is xa and another model i am drawn here from the same here I am combining XL and XA and replaced by XS. Okay. For both we have to draw the, the vector diagram. It is one and same. First I told you the voltage V is taken as a reference. Therefore you have to lay down the V first. Then the because of the nature of the, the current, uh, nature of the load, the current I lags, leads or unity power factor. I am taking first case as a lagging power factor means IA lags V by an angle of phi here means IA is lagging V by an angle of phi here then there is a drop in the if you are adding the IRA drop IXL drop and IXA drop to V so that we are getting E therefore we know that IRA drop is in phase with the current that is the current and the voltage are same in the same phase when it is resistive element and the voltage 
across the inductance is leading the current by an angle of 90 degree because the phase displacement between the current and the voltage in the case of the inductance is that is the voltage is ahead of the voltage a uh, current by an angle of 90 degree or current lacks the voltage by an angle 90 degree it is one and the same therefore i am drawing here i axis which is making 90 degree with respect to i that is in the leading if you are taking the voltage here and current here means the current lacks v by an angle of 90 degree okay therefore that is i am drawing here i axis then there is i axis is also inductive drop that is perpendicular to the current i but my intention is to find out the value of e from the phi to phi what i have to add ir therefore i have to shift this ir to the tip of v then i have to change i xl to the tip of ir then i xl drop should be added to i xl that is step by step these are the phase relation with respect to current but however i want e so that i have to add ir to v after that i have to add i xl then i have to add i xl go on shifting this vectors to the the dip, tips of the different first i am shifting ir means this ir is parallel to this i then i xl is shifting to the tip of ir then to the tip of i axis i am adding i axis then the total the voltage what i am getting is e this is a vector diagram how you have to draw or a simple way is this i r a drop is parallel to i a this i xl and i a x a drops are perpendicular to i a then if you are adding we are getting the value e the same thing is shown for this particular diagram i show you the directly that is the v is taken as a reference i is lagging because i am taking here lagging perfect now i am directly adding here i r a which is parallel to i a then i am adding i a x l and i a x a then i am combining x l and x a that is in the form of that is i x l plus i x a is nothing but i am taking i as a common x l plus x a i am getting here Therefore, what we are getting here is it is I A into X S. Now, I am adding here I A X L and I X A. This can be replaced by I A X S. It can be replaced by I A X S. Therefore, what I am doing instead of those two, I am replacing only one vector with I A X S. Then I am adding. Then what I am getting is E. Then the vector sum of I A R A and I A X S. Uh, that is nothing but i z is what i am getting this is how you have to draw the the vector diagram it is very simple this diagram can refer that is first you have to draw v i lagging v then add v a i r a add i x l i x a or directly you can add i a x s i a x s and we are getting E, this is I S S. This is how you have to draw the vector diagram for the lagging power factor. That is, if the load corrected here is lagging in the nature, this is a vector diagram and the what we are getting is E from the V. Similarly, you have to look into the, that is what I am writing is, V is equal to E minus I R A, R A plus J X S or in other words, E is equal to V plus I R A plus say axis. I told you V is taken as a reference, I is represented with respect to power factor so that I am getting the value of generated voltage E. Then I want to draw the, the vector diagram for leading as well as unity power factor here. I am taking this RA, XL, XA, combining of XL and XA, it is becomes XS here. Okay. Now I am taking a leading power factor. Leading power factor means the current leads the voltage by an angle of phi. Therefore, first I am taking V, then I am drawing here I R A, I A, that is which is leading the voltage by an angle of phi. Then I A R A drop I have to add. First I have to add I R A drop to this. Therefore, it should be parallel to this I. Therefore, I R A which is parallel to this. Then to the tip of IRA, I have to add 
IAXL and IAXA. That is, it is making an angle of 90 degree with us. You should not draw here because here, because of the armature reaction, there is a magnetic flux is strengthening. Therefore, you have to draw in this particular direction. Therefore, I am adding the IAXL which is perpendicular to IARA or it is a perpendicular to I1 and C. To the tip of IAXL, I am adding IAXA. Otherwise, I am replacing these two drops by a single drop that is IA into XS. That is, I am replacing those two drops by a single drop because I am combining XL and XA into XS. Then what I am getting here is, this is the value of E. This is the value of E. Now, what you are observing here is, here E is less than B. In the case of the leading power factor, the terminal voltage, what we are getting is more than the generated voltage because the flux produced by the armature is adding to the, the main flux. Adding to the main flux. That is why the terminal voltage V, what we are getting is more than the, the generated voltage E. So that in this case, usually we are getting a negative regulation. Then the factor sum of IR and IXS is once again it is I sets. Then for unity power factor once again it is same. The unity power factor means the current and the voltage is they are in same phase. Therefore, I am drawing here V in that same phase that is I A. Add I A R A to the V it is in phase with I A. Therefore, it is I A R A. Then I A XL is perpendicular to I A R A. Then add to that I A XS. Otherwise, you can replace this by I A XS. That is, it is replaced by I A XS. Then what we are getting is E. Then if you are adding I A R A and I A XS, once again you are getting I A Z as an impedance drop of the, the alternator. This is how you have to draw the, the vector diagram for alternator under different load conditions.